On June 25th of this year, Alan Edward John G was attacked on James Street in Ounslow, Middlesex, and then died two days later in hospital due to the injuries occurred in the attack. Alan G was a young man aged only 23 who was a trainee engineer. Alan G had enjoyed a pleasant Saturday night out with fiance Jacqueline Herbert, during which he proposed to her. G went to see his fiance home. On the stand, we have Detective Superintendent Frederick Hickson, who was in charge of the investigation. So tell us what you saw, officer. I had seen that it had been severely beaten up, which may have caused by mugging. We had suspected there were some possible witnesses, but no one came forward. I was informed about him and what he was doing out that late, so I thought I'd invite his fiancée to the police station. As the investigation continued, we found that he had left the house at about ten minutes past eleven, and he was at his fiancée after a night out with her. They came home and engaged couple. His name is Alan Edward G. Right, right, right. So let's go. Okay. Yeah. Give us your wallet. No, you're give us your wallet now. Come on, now. I want to get her. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? We interviewed quite a lot of young men, including Norman Harris on the 29th, but at the time no arrests were made. On the 17th, Keith Cullion came forward to say that a friend of his had been boasting about the attack. The name given was Francis Forsyth. Kevin Cullion was more helpful though. He also gave, gave the names of three other youths who he'd seen with Forsyth in a coffee bar on the night of the attack. Two days later on the 19th, four youths were picked up. Uh, after hours of intense questioning, all four made statements. As a result, we charged 23-year-old Norman James Harris, a driver from Wellington Road in Hounslow. Uh, this Christopher Darby, a coal mine worker, aged 20, from Queenswood Avenue, Hounslow. 17-year-old Terrace Lutt, who'd, who's unemployed, also from Hounslow on Charles Street. And the fourth was Francis Robert George Forsyth from Clare Road, Hounslow, an 18-year-old road worker. They all got charged with murder. On the 26th of June 1960, Norman Francis Christopher and Terence attacked Alan G on a pathway on James Street. He was punched to the ground and kicked rapidly. Two days later, Mr G, a young man with everything to live for, died in hospital. With witnesses come forward and the two-month investigation, you were all charged with murder. Although all four were involved in the, mur in the murder, Darby claimed to have not used any violence on G and is therefore is charged with non-capital murder. Terence Lutt will be held during, at Her Majesty's pleasure as he is too young to be hanged. As for Norman James Harris, he will be sentenced to death at the Pentaville Prison on Thursday the 10th of November of this year, as well as Francis Forsyth, who because of his repeated kicking, will be sentenced to death on the 10th of November this year for the brutal and senseless murder of Alan G.